Thanks for coming back and joining Stu Structures. Uh, we're here to build another quick build. We're going to work on something that, uh, you know, is everywhere across the United States no matter what time period you live in. We're going to build a billboard. So stay tuned. Billboards have been used since uh, early last century and they're still being used today. Uh, they're signs of all kinds of stuff that you can add to your model railroad. Uh, but billboards, you know, the, the modern ones, the structures that hold them up and all that type of thing are a little different from the time period that I model. Uh, but some of these older structures still existed into the, the uh, transition error and some of the time periods that a lot of you guys model. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build one of these early structures. Now the only difference between maybe what I'm doing here and some of the things you may want to do for yourself is, uh, you know, the, the subject matter that is on the billboard. Uh, you know, different cars, for instance, were, uh, you know, would have been on billboards at different time periods. Uh, obviously the one that I'm going to use is a very very old one. Uh, I just got this out I think of an old model railroad craftsman magazine years and years and years ago and had cut it out and put it in my sign file and decided to go ahead and use it. It's a little earlier than the time period I model uh, but you know it's something I have as an example so I'm going to go ahead and build this using that particular sign and this is all just balsa wood and basswood out of my uh, box uh, uh, you know nothing special a lot of wood glue putting it together and a little bit of paint but not a whole lot you can also add signs and stuff like that to your billboards I'm not on this particular one uh, I may come back later on and add a light to it I'm not sure but anyway, let's just jump into this and make this billboard. It's a nice, quick, easy build, an evening or two, and you'll have something like this for your model railroad. So let's jump into it. Now the billboard itself I just mounted to some uh, basic uh, balsa wood, and I went through my box and found you know just a bunch of square stock and miscellaneous stock that I can use for all the cross members and various stuff I need to make this. And it's just stuff out of my junk box. Now, you know, I did go ahead on the back of the sign and the balsa wood that I mounted it to and scribed board lines in all the balsa wood. And, uh, you know, that, wants, that makes it want to curve some. So adding this extra framing on there, which would have been on there anyway, helps to stiffen that up and take away all the curvature caused by slicing the wood just a little bit. And you know, this is just a, a standard type of bracing that would have been on a lot of the older signs. The new ones mostly would be using metal, but on these old ones, it's all wood framing. Then I need ground posts that are uh, holding up the basic sign. And I've got this timber out, which is basically about 12 by 12 inch um, timbers in HO scale. And I found, figured out my height and uh, just cut them to size and glued them to the back of uh, the framing on the sign. You know, just an easy step. And then I cut these angle braces for the back side. And you know, they're no special angle. I just put a piece up to it, marked the angle where it met the wood, and then set it down and, and marked the bottoms. And then I cut some bracing that go across the back and then some that goes from the back brace board through the main member and out in front of the sign because I want to add a walkway to the front of this. Then I add a secondary brace on the back of it as well just to give it some more structural support. And uh, you know at this point it's, it's starting to all come together quick really. And then on those front braces that I added out past the sign, I just put a few walk boards that uh, the guys that worked on this sign and, and you know changed the paper on the signs and the different signs every month would uh, have been able to walk on. Then I wanted to frame out the front of this, so I just took some small uh, lumber and uh, pre-painted it white and went ahead and framed the outside of the picture on the front side. And also painted around the outside wood of the whole uh, sign itself white to match that. And then, uh, you know, I just I took some uh, 
made some washes out of a few various colors just to stain the whole wood with nothing real serious I probably could have went a little darker with it uh, but you know it brought out all the lines in the wood and all that type of stuff and basically that's a whole completed sign it's an easy one evening project uh, that can just add a lot of detail and background to uh, your model railroad so jump out there and try this it's easy to do so there you have another quick and easy build for your model railroad uh, like I said earlier in the video you know there there's different ways of modeling uh, the modern ones compared to the old ones. Uh, these signs would have been put up and painted on paper and then applied to the wood background. Sometimes they're layered and layered and layered on top of the old ones. Sometimes they removed them, but not always. Uh, but the new ones are made on metal panels that are two foot or a little over two foot in width. And they're painted and they're pinned together when they're painted in a shop and then the panels are all taken apart and come out and they have cleats that lock down on metal iron in the in the uh, sign posts that hold them up and then they're pinned on in place on those iron works uh, so you know it's a, a slightly different way of modeling things if you're wanting to do a slightly more modern period uh, but basically you could use one of these if you wanted to um, now 2020 you know I mean you won't find many of these old ones existing in today's time uh, but it's easy to find a billboard out there go and take pictures you know and uh, see how it's made and figure out how to do that for yourself uh, but anyway it's a quick easy build and just about everywhere has billboards uh, the subject matter you know you can use all kinds of different things at some point I think I'm going to do one of the cutout types of signs that existed back in the old days uh, I did uh, work for a sign company that made billboards for a long time and there were some of the ones that we did that had built uh, cutouts that extended past the edge of the billboard and made it a little more of a you know a, I hate to say 3d because it really wasn't 3d but it extended the image out past the billboard so there's lots of things you can do with these to add interest to them but anyway thank you for coming back and sharing this time with me i do appreciate it i uh, hope you uh, are able to jump out there and scratch build something whether it's a billboard or a small structure or anything jump out there and play around and hone your craft a little bit uh, like and share this material uh, you know all the likes I get do help me on uh, the analytics and help me get my channel out there and I appreciate them uh, I think most of you enjoy most of the content that I put out I throw some odd stuff out there I'm not sure if some of you do or not but uh, in any case yeah you know, a lot of people want to know this material and don't know it's out there so share it with other people in the hobby and subscribe to my channel uh, you know I'd like to have another contest here before too long I'd like to get my subscription rate up before I do that a little bit more uh, but hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button down there and you'll be notified when I have new content that comes out and I'm trying to do these every week again I'm kind of back on track with that uh, so we'll see how long that can hold out before I get back into the throes of, of the busy year and what I do for a living and all that and life kind of gets in the way but enjoy this winter time do some model railroading jump out there and scratch build some structures even if it's something small to learn uh, you know there's a lot of buildings out there people would like to have on their model railroads that do not exist in kit form and you can kit bash as well but it's not really hard to uh, scratch build some structures so jump out there and play with it and learn and uh, happy model railroading